Good evening, it's Joel. Um, tonight I wanted to go over uh, a collection which is by and large mostly Johnny Lightning, but uh, a bunch of cars that you don't see too often in real life, not even when uh, these were still, you know, factory new. Uh, you didn't see them that often. Uh, and that would be AMC's or American Motor uh, Corporation. Um, there's just something about them I like. Uh, I never owned one, um, but my father used to work for a man whose son uh, really liked AMC. He had a, uh, I think it was a 1973 um, AMX. Anyway, um, so if it's an AMC, generally I will collect it um, if I find it. Okay, so uh, I still collect the Chevys, but... Uh, AMC I kind of like too, so I just wanted to go over that real quick. Uh, again, it's uh, Hot Wheels doesn't really produce a lot of AMCs, but they do have a couple. Um, so does uh, Matchbox, and I'll get into those another day. But again, these are Johnny Lightnings. I don't necessarily know uh, the year of the car. So if you're an AMC person, you could tell me. I just know what the car is. Um, this is an AMX. Let's see if I can get this. Real Rider tires, red lines, which kind of look nice. AMC logo on the rear quarter. And right here, AMX for American Motors Experimental. So. And this is the small box that came with it. This used to be, okay, so it's a 69. Um, um, just this came as an added extra uh, with the casting. Okay, because it's based off this uh, Johan. Uh, model so okay so that was a 69 this is plastic wheels opening hood Johnny Lightning's really moved too. <clears throat> uh, this one is uh, rubber tires. This paint almost looks like it's Spectre Flame. I had to buy an entire collection just to get this car. Um, this is an AMC AMX. However, it is dressed up in the colors and the style of the police cars from uh, the movie Mad Max. And uh, I think it kind of fits a little bit in with that, but um, I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, they had no AMCs in the movie. Um, actually, those small police cars were, um, I think they were Holden's. <laughs> This is a 1972 Javelin, so not an AMX, but a Javelin. This 
same thing, different color, 72 javelin. These are nice cars. I think these are based off of uh, the matted doors. These are the uh, the Rebel machines, or the machines is what they're known as. sometimes comes with some stuff that's you know extras so this box came in with the uh, with the uh, green uh, machine I just showed you it's even got a picture of the car in the in the bottom of the box and it's a middle box so. now it's a 1970 AMC rebel machine Here's two cars, slightly different, and this is from Shirley uh, Shahan, the Dragon Lady. Uh, she actually raced these back in the 60s. So these are kind of neat pieces. Seventy um, Rebel from Johan, so this was a model too. It's a Concord. And this was their Monopoly series, and it even came with a little game piece. Uh, no opening features, unfortunately. But I guess the closest analogy would be that this would be, um, at the time, this would probably be AMC's version of the, the Vega probably a little bit bigger and this is another and it's a nice car I mean I've seen them so I do like them and this is another Concorde and this is a Gremlin which is also kind of a neat car I like these as well. This is an SC Rambler. Maybe some people also pronounce it Scrambler, but it's a 69 AMC. SC Rambler, SC slash Rambler, and I know it says air there, and you would think that that's a uh, big scoop on there, and that's what it's for, but actually I believe it's the initials for uh, um, someone's uh, race team, I, I'm not quite sure, 
but uh, it's not what you think it is. Okay, so that's one, and this is another one, which is, I don't see any variations other than this one here has real riders. To the plastic wheels. But the one with the real riders, again, came with this little plastic box based on uh, a model by Johan. There's uh, three more Rebels. It's a little bit difficult to get them out because they're kind of longer than the space. <clears throat> so we got red. And this is a different color, shade of blue. And they all have opening hoods, but uh, they don't really open up much. Um, this one in the left with the lighter shade of blue, it's plastic wheels. And the other one is wheel rider tires. And uh, the wheels are a little bit different too, a little bit different design spokes as opposed to, uh, um, I don't know what those Astro holes are or Astro wheels. I think they're called, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. And then this red one is plastic wheels. But these cars do have a lot of detail for uh, the size. But then you do pay more for Johnny Lightning cars. Okay. We got a few more AMCs in this. Okay. Not all Johnny Lightning. Um, this one. Is a Johnny Lightning. So I think that's an SST. And no, that's an AMX. Okay, well, it's a later model because the older ones in the 68, 69 era uh, don't come from, uh, I'm sorry, don't come. They don't have rear seats. This one does. So it's a later model. It's from the early 70s. Uh, this AMX is the blackout con blacked out edition from Greenlight. So this has got real rider tires. And it's got an opening hood. You can kind of see in there. So this is the uh, the blackout edition from Greenlight. This here is not I can't remember who does wild cherry the um, that brand but I think this is what that is and this is another gremlin and this one has real rider tires kind of cool I got a little spoiler on the top and the back And this one here looks like Racing Champions. Nice big opening. And this is a DMX. And this is an AMC. I think this is a Javelin. Okay, um, that's it for the AMCs in this case. Uh, I was running out of room uh, some other time, so I'll just briefly go over what else I have in here. It's really it kind of, I wouldn't say a mixed bag, but I just ran out of room. Um, Plymouth GTX uh, Zinger.
and this is a, I believe this is a duster, funny car. Okay, this is Johnny Lightning. I can't remember why I have this because I normally don't collect. Um, unless it appealed to me, I normally don't collect uh, Chrysler stuff. Might have come in a lot. Uh, this is the Blue Max. I think this is a Mustang. Funny car, and this is also Johnny Lightning. The Johnny Lightning Dan. Not just a van, but it is a VW van with real riders. So it's kind of cool. Car, it got a little bit beat up um, because I bought it uh, loose from somebody at the club. But this is some driver's car from uh, Speed Racer, and I can't remember who. I can't remember if this is Racer X car or not. I don't think so. Okay, but it's uh, one of the cars from Speed Racer. I don't know if it's based off the live. Uh, it rolls, but with the real rider tires on here, it doesn't do too well. <clears throat> and uh, it's missing some pieces, and this is kind of bent up. I don't know what that is. But other than that, this is a pretty nice lift-up engine cover. Um, this truck came in the lot that I used to get that um, MFP AMX. And uh, I just kept it because I kind of thought it was neat, so. And 76 gas. And you got to have Speed Racer. Used to love that cartoon. And this is kind of cool because it does have a um, opening hood. So it's the Mach 5. It's got a lot of detail in there for the interior too. And these rubber tires, they roll better than that red one. Um, this is the most recent purchase I got. Um, I couldn't find my Chevy case for Johnny Lightning. And this has an opening hood, but I can't get it to open. I think I even chipped it there, but this was a new acquisition. This just came out. Okay. And plastic wheels. This is a 67, 68 Impala, Chevy Impala. I think it's a 68. Um, briefly, these other cars here, these were made by the same company that produced Johnny Lightning, but they weren't listed as Johnny Lightning when they were sold. Um, they were sold as, I think, either, um, I think Rebel Machines. And um, they were 99 cents when KB Toy Store was open. So we have a Mustang. Uh, this is a Dodge a Coronet. And this looks like, none of them have opening features. This looks like a Nova or a Chevelle. This might be a 70 Chevelle. Okay. Uh, it's a Mercury Cougar. Pontiac GTO Convertible. 
old 442. Barracuda, Barracuda. This is a Nova spoiler type car. Um, I have two of these because I found that getting these, the wheels weren't working, so I kept buying a couple. But uh, you have the uh, Dodge Daytonas. So I have two of those. I didn't buy it because it had a uh, variation or anything. It's just that I didn't think the wheels worked well for some reason on that model. And here is an old 442. So these were made by Playing Mantis, but they weren't marketed as Johnny Lightning. They were marketed as um, Speed Machines, I think. 99 cents. They were exclusively at uh, KB Toy Store. So that's how I acquired those. So anyway, um, I do have some more AMCs. I try to pick them up when I find them. Um, I do have a few in Hot Wheels and a couple in Matchbox. Uh, so when I come across them, I'll show you guys. So uh, thanks for viewing. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, tell me what you like, what you don't like. And I hope you subscribe. So uh, see you next time. Bye.